Oh, oh, oh. Alright. We are taking back the castle. Um, it's first thing in the morning. And I'm... Whoa, whoa, whoa. I probably better get out of here and deal with some of these... Some of these tanks and stuff, right? Alright, you can, uh... What was it? I get the bomb. And, uh, death from above for you, sir. And, uh, you can clear out. And, uh... Make your peace with whoever your god is, sir. I talk to these broads. Huh? Is there some grump we haven't dealt with yet? It's these two girls. Have those horrid brutes all gone? Nope. Whoa. Who's this weirdo? I am not a weirdo. I am Humgrum's loyal mage. He sent me to disintegrate you. And that is what I shall do now. A mage, huh? A magic wielder. That's what he is. Guys, we won't be able to, to defeat this chap with the bonk on the head. No. A mage wielder can only be defeated by magic. I suppose it's time. For me to step up to bed. Go get him, girl. Violet readied her wand. Mm hmm It was time to get magical. <laughs> I get a minigame? Alright. Uh oh. Well, oh shit. Um, what was I doing? Uh uh, this is a fire one. Okay. Alright. What is this? Fire. Hmm. Whoops. That was wrong. Hmm. Alright. Took me a second to figure this one out. Let's see how you handle this. Oh shit. Whoop. Uh is this water. Hmm. Shit. I'm not out of it yet. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Alright, water. Uh, what's this one? Let's put that up there. Damn it. You wait. Shit. Oh, uh, fuck. Having a hard time seeing what's where. Ha ha ha. Oh, shit. Uh. Wah. Oh, shit. Ooh. Ooh. No. You won't defeat me. Oh, ooh. Fire, fire, fire. Shit. Uh, uh oh, okay. That was too easy. Violet was victorious. 
victorious. That was nothing for a bad bitch. And her former schoolmates quite flabbergasted. Mm-hmm. Violet, that was amazing. You're a natural at this magic thing. Major respect. Oh, <laughs> well, you know, I've picked up a few spells and charms here and there. Not much, maybe, but they can be useful in a pinch. Not much. You serve that mage a potion pile driver. But Violet, you saved us from that creepy wizard. Your magic, it was, it was breathtaking. It was nothing. But listen, it's not safe for you to be around here. We've cleared out the town. You should be able to get out of here, okay? Get to safety. Yes, Violet. Thank you, Violet. She's nicer than me. I'll turn those bitches into tampons. Come on. Let's get to the castle. Such a magic battle I've never seen. Moonbeard sorcery is even stronger than I'd heard. And soon... The main event. Jod versus Humgrump. A clash for the history books. Oh bother. Busted again. This time, Tim. They heard everything. I really have to stop talking to myself. That dude again? Last time we saw him, you got booted out of the book, Jot. So, uh... Let's be on our toes. All right. Uh, there's anything over here. Uh, another baby. You found a fifth lost gl glitch bird. When you feel that you're lost with no way out in sight, please be brave and have hope. There's always a way back to the light. Thank you for rescuing this glitch bird. There's still a few more to find. Ah, oh, damn it. Alright. Uh, <laughs> hmm. Impressive, Moonbeard. Impressive. Obviously, I am no match for your magical majesty. Of course, of course. You have always been the better wizard. Me. I'm just a sniveling, little talentless grump. Always in your shadow. I should have known my place. I should have never dared stand against my beloved younger brother. The magnificent Moonbeard. Oh, okay, we're gonna twist. What a fool I am. What a dumb grump. Give it a rest, hum grump. Always feeling sorry for yourself. You should get out more. Do some sport. A bit of vigorous exercise. Didn't you used to like ping pong? I remember you playing it with Ma. Well remembered. It was my thing for a while. But one day you beat me at that too. So I said so long to ping pong. I do remember one of the strategies though. Misdirection. Make it look like you're on the back foot. Then come back strong with a winning backhand. No! Holy shit. Did he just vaporize Moonbeard? This game goes to Humgrump. <laughs> I'm having fun with this. And now Humgrump sat upon the Arctic throne. Ah, uh, Humgrump. To claim his rightful role. Mm hmm. As the grand ruler of all of Mojo. So he wins. End of story.
The Magnificent Homegrown. <laughs> mm hmm. Mm. Are there like branching, like multiple endings? Right? Did I do something wrong? I didn't collect enough of something. Once upon a time, there was a magnificent wizard named Humgrump. Mm -hmm. Lord Humgrump ruled the land of Mojo, overlooking all from his splendid palace. He was the ruler of Mojo. Because he was the greatest person who had ever lived in the land. Mm -hmm. And he knew what was best for its people. The loyal ones would be treated with great grace and fairness. Mm -hmm. And taxed at the very reasonable rate of 96%. <laughs> the disloyal ones... Well... They would be put in their place. And that was a place which was many miles underground. And was known as... Deep Doom. Okay, maybe we're not almost done with this game. One such disloyal subject was the wretched Squire Jot, who found himself now imprisoned in a cell in the depths of Deep Doom, which was exactly where he belonged. I don't have my sword. There we go. Heavy Iron Gate was very much shut. Alright, let's go find the sentence. This is open. Or broken. All right. The traitor Jot peered into the terrifying darkness of the vent, <gasps> inside which awaited a frightening and ultimately lonely death. Hmm. Ah. All right. The energy beam looked warm and enticing. Ooh. Okay. All right, someone here helping us. Oh, hey, it's a rat with a pip. Yeah, right on the tip of my tongue. What's up, Pip? You're alive. Boy, am I happy to see you. You know how many dingy corridor, dingy corridors I've scampered through trying to find you. It was a lot. Anyway, it's just brilliant to see you. You know, we're not in the best shape, to be honest. Moonbeard is no longer with us. I'm Grump now rules Mojo from his horrible palace, which he has rudely jammed right on top of Ardia Castle. It's said that Queen Chroma is imprisoned in his palace. I see you don't have your sword. You know, I overheard a couple of troops on the way here. They said they'd taken all your gear to a spot somewhere outside the book. So, I suppose we won't be finding it in Deep Doom. But, two things we may find are Violet and Thrash. Because I'm pretty sure they're in prison close by. Come on, let's go find them and get the band back together. Uh, now, there were two wretched fugitives. <laughs> Not a great development. Mm -mm. Oh, okay. I know what's ahead. One of Homegrown's data centers. You would not believe how much these cats love their paperwork. They're always reporting each other and trying to get each other in trouble. Not a fun bunch. Listen, these data centers are crawling with troops. I can sneak past them, though. 
I'm a mouse. Slinking around is my jam. Once I'm through, I think I can open a vent and let you through a side passage. Leave it to trusty, sneaky Pip. Hi, Pip. Ahead of the fugitives, lay a data center stocked full of wonderful, life-affirming paperwork. Not patrolled by highly competent guards. I'm starting to think this is an unreliable narrator now that the book is run by Humgrub. A plan quite obviously doomed to hilarious failure. Yeah, the narrative's all wrong now. Oh shit, okay. Alright. Uh, got it. I go this way. All right. See me? Nope. I feel like it's a little hat. A little fedora and the shades. I'm maxing out my stealth. Uh, let's go. Have made it past the troops. You've been hit by ding ding. You've been hit by a smooth criminal. Ding 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 ding. This turn of events was not very pleasing. Hmm, what's up here? Jot, my whiskers are telling me that Violet is in that cell. Let's check it out. Okay. It's me, baby. Violet. Hey there. Huh? Another funny dream? Pip and Jot standing there in my cell? Violet, it's not a dream. It's really us. We've come to break you out. You're in deep doom, homegrown space. That big lunk has taken over the land. We have to get to his place and kick him out. It's... it's really you? You bet it is. Jot and Pip, live and kicking. And Thrash, I'm pretty sure he's around here too. Moonbeard? Mm, I'm sorry, Violet. Moonbeard's gone. It's my fault. All this is my fault. Moonbeard thought I could make magic to protect everyone. He was so confident, he almost convinced me. But deep down, I knew that I couldn't. I thought I could change my story. I thought things could be rewritten. But in the end, they couldn't. It all came back to the same old tale. I let Moonbeard down. I let everyone down. Violet, come on. That's not true. We were all in it together. We all tried our best. There's only one person at the root of all this misery, and that's Humgrump. Is it true that Humgrump is Moonbeard's brother? It is. So throw brotherly betrayal onto the pile of no good stuff. Listen, things are bad, no doubt. But this story, it's not over yet. We can still change the end, make things right. We can't change what happened. What's important is what we do now. Mm. <laughs> You're right. It's it's really good to see you both. It's good to see you too. 
Violet. Hey. We have something of yours. Thank you, Jot. Thank you, Pip. I'll do what I can. Can't let Humgrump get away with what he did to Moonbeard. What he did to Mojo. We have to free the people of the land. One thousand percent. Come on, let's go get that mountain troll fellow. Another data center mm -hmm. ahead of the treacherous trio. The cocky rogue prepared to sneak his way through again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> with an air of smug arrogance that would no doubt be his undoing. All right, let's see. Oh. Come on. Oh. Okay, so the split second right when he lands on this switch to uh Hmm. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. I don't know. I wasn't really paying attention to this side. I don't know if I can do this one. All right. This one. Alright. Uh. Oh, I'm moving him around. Okay, okay, okay. Uh. Okay, alright. Get this one down there. Okay. Oh, okay. That was tight. Uh, that timing was really tight. Okay. My Annie, are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay, room. Annie? And once again, granted access to his chatted colleagues. This outcome was not great. And rather brought into question the competency of the guards mm -hmm. and the effectiveness of their training curriculum. <laughs> mm, well, we made it past the data center, but this thing here doesn't look very sneak pastable. If one ran fast enough, one could definitely slip through the gaps of the whizzing belt. <laughs> um nope i'll be keeping my distance from those lethal whizzing blades thanks jot doesn't look like we can stop this machine from here this calls for some plucky power from outside our world maybe there's one of those spinning portals around here helpful things appear to those in need you know where there we go there we go hey humgrum's troops said they'd stash your items out there somewhere Maybe you can get them back. Good luck, Jot. We'll be right here waiting for you. All right. Uh. All right, so our friend Paige, the bookworm. Jot, how exceedingly euphoric I am to see you. You seem to have evaded the clutches of the dastardly Humgrump. But your storybook, Humgrump still very much has dominion over that, I'm afraid. How weary, stale, and uninspiring the story has become. The life energy, it is draining from its pages. 
Sam discarded your book, placing it here on this dusty shelf. The book no longer inspires him, Jot. And without that spark of inspiration to guide him, Sam may wander onto the wrong path and never fulfill his potential. I can already sense him changing. You must reignite that spark of inspiration, Jot. You must defeat Humgrump and restore the book's story to one of light. Also, get the book back onto the desk. Not sure how we're going to do that, but first things first, let's get your items and weapons back. They're down on the desk in a fortress occupied by Humgrump's troops. Get down there and retrieve them. You saw nothing. You saw nothing. You didn't see anything. You didn't see anything. You saw nothing. Later, chump. What? Oh, that's right. Ugh. Uh, um, all right. Oh, shit. Okay. Maybe this guy won't see me from... Sneaking. Right. He has very weak peripheral vision. Right? Okay. This feels like the last level though, right? Like it has a very Bowser light type of vibe to it. What's this? Dot retrieve the bomb stamp. Okay, so I'm just piecing together my arsenal. The bomb stamp, a dynamite performance. You retrieved your first item, but there are many more. So let's get them all piece by piece. Go now and obtain the next one. Okay. Where am I supposed to go? Uh. Get up, get up, get up. Yeah. Ugh. All right, where is he? Where does he go? I'm supposed to get around that guy. Okay, okay, okay. All right, okay. Sword. Can I murder these things now? Jot retrieved his sword. Can I kill these guys? Your noble blade. You're a cut above, young Jot. Now, you may take up arms against all humgrumpian foes who dare oppose you. And also kill the beetles. Yeah! Go forth, plucky squire. Uh. <laughs> Superior tech. Ugh, ugh, he packs a punch. Jeez, these guys do not die. It's just because, like, the sword throw isn't particularly powerful. Alright. Then there was one. Alright. Oh, I'm almost dead. I wish I could still do a little bit of stealth, right? Oh, that's right. My uh, gauntlet. Jot retrieved the tilt gauntlets. The tilt gauntlets. Fortune is tipping our way. All right. Let's see. All right, guys. <laughs> Chaos. Anarchy. Scary. Your gods have abandoned you. There is only Jot. Surrender all your light bulbs and I may show pity. <laughs> he doesn't like that shit. Uh. 
Er. Er. Jot retrieve the stop stamp. And that's what we really needed. The stop stamp. Be still, my exultant heart. And now you have retrieved all your items. You're fully equipped to deal with Humgrump's forces. Get back to the book forthwith, Jot. Over there is the route via which you may return. Good luck. Don't have to knock the book back off the... Uh, let me see. I have to knock the book back onto the desk, right? Okay, let's go. <sighs> Jot, you have returned. But look now. Gaze upon your storybook. Its life energy has fully dissipated. It is a frozen tome. This is what happens to forgotten books. We have but one chance. We must return the book to the desk. It may regain some energy there. But how might we transport the book down there? Perhaps one of your items may be of aid? Probably the gloves, right? The gauntlets? Uh, let me see. There we go. Extraordinary. A truly brilliant spark of inspiration, Jot. Now that the book is on the desk, its pages might thaw. The workings of book magic are quite a mystery, you know. Get down onto the desk and see for yourself. I wish you the best of luck, Jot. Go now. All right, bookworm. All right, well, nope. There we go. There we go. You did it. You got your items back. And not a hair out of place. Nothing major happened while you were gone. It got a little chilly, but then it warmed up again. Also, I was about to utterly trounce Pip in our trivia quiz. Too many questions about shades of paint. Anyway, come on, let's scoot. All right, let's go. Hey, uh, let's see. Look there, Thrash's drumsticks. All right, he's gotta be nearby. Jot, grab the sticks. Let's go find their owner. Okay. Hmm. He's just chilling, he's vibing. All right, thrash. Dudes, you're okay. You're okay. We're all okay. I mean, of course we are. Who's going to stop the Mojam crew? Are you going to do the dance? No one. No one's going to mess with the Mojam. The crew, us, not even, not anyone. Did you say Mojam? I said it. She said it. Let's do it. Give it to me. I need it right now. Ah. It pips in on it too, right? Busted a backflip like it was no big deal. Phew, got a bit worked up there. I think I pulled a hammy. I feel lightheaded. 
I think I'm just really happy to see you all. Us too, Thrash. It's wonderful. Thrash, let me fill you in on what's happened. I've already got the lowdown, Pip, dude. Um, Grump rules already from his palace. Queen in prison. Bad business all around. I overheard the guards. So, let's go smash Um, Grump. All right, let's see. Heavy duty pipe. Transporting meta magic or around no doubt that green stuff has the funniest properties it can pop things right out of the book even transfer them from page to page at least that's what moonbeard told me something about pressing pages against each other to transfer things i wasn't paying full attention to be honest i was rather peckish and thinking about cheese it happens all right what's up bud Nothing personal. I know you just work here. Hmm. Okay. Hang on, how did that section of the pipe get from over there to plucky business, Violet? Plucky business. Hmm. The band of botherers emerged and laid their eyes upon their undoing. A very solid, very closed iron door. Hmm. Now this is tricky. Some newfangled machinery. The door only opens if it sees a face from Um Grump's army. It's not going to appreciate our pretty faces. Not a bit. But this is the only face I've got. What are we going to do? Uh, let's see. First, let's make sure there are no secrets. No hidden... Passageways, false walls. Alright, so. Let me see. Where's Humgrum's? Humgrum's pictures. Running somewhere, right? Where is it? Huh. Oh, okay. A very solid, very open iron door. <laughs> Clever. Whoops. Dude. Not exactly sure what you did there, but it worked a charm. <laughs> Let me do a butt on the back of his painting. Okay. We made it. Metal. Elevator. Let's go. They're really leaving Moonbeard dead, huh? It's made their traitorous ascent towards the surface. The elevator cable proving annoyingly reluctant to snap. <laughs> Maybe they'll do like an Obi-Wan kind of deal with uh, Moonbeard. Like Thrash's so troll uncle right came back from the afterlife. And with uncomprehending awe in their traitorous eyes. They gazed upwards to see the monumentally majestic Palace of Humgrump. <laughs> the 
palace. It's hideous. And I'm grump. I have never known anyone with the worst sense of aesthetics. Major downgrade. Yeah, I mean, Humgrump has very bad taste. Which is funny, because Moonbeard has such great style. I still can't believe they're related. What's Humgrump's deal with plastering his logo everywhere? It's so garish. Dude really loves that mark, huh? What's it supposed to be, anyway? I always thought it was an axe head, you know? Something sharp and nasty. Really? It's got to be an H for Humgrump, right? Nope. It's neither of those things. The design, it comes from events in Humgrump's past. We're getting a flashback. Young Humgrump fans of himself as a poet. Hmm. Oh, butterfly, why do you fly? Nothing but a butter fly. Flitter, butter, flitter, butter. Butter flitter, butter flitter, butter, butter flu. <laughs> he sent his poems to all the publishers in Mojo, but he was rejected <laughs> by each and every. On a thumbs one. down stamp shirt. He vowed never to release another poem into the ungrateful world. That's actually kind of sad. Would eventually transform into rage that would propel him towards his ultimate destiny. The symbol of his rejection would become the symbol of his vengeance against an unjust world. Mm. The symbol of the humble butterfly. And that's the story behind Humgrump's logo. He must have been a sensitive soul, not able to get over his rejection. Why didn't he just, you know, try and get better at writing poetry? I was a rubbish drummer at first. Everyone's rubbish at first. He was too proud for that. Better to blame the world than try and improve himself. Moonbeard offered his brother help, but Humgrump saw this as a humiliation. He flew into a rage. He said he didn't need any help. He'd go it alone. So that's what he did. Even now, so many years later, the resentment and envy still burns within him. He has torn down the world that rejected him and created a new one of his own. A new tale. All about him. Well, it sucks. Definitely prefer how it was before. Agreed. So we have to try and change this plotline back. And that means confronting its starring character. Humgrump. Come on, let's enter the palace. All right, guys, we're going to pick this up next time. Uh, when we come back next episode, we are about to storm these gates and dish out one wholesale ass whipping. I um, appreciate you hanging out with me for a little bit, as usual. Uh, leave me a like if you like our content. It really helps out our, our little channel. And subscribe. You'll be here when we drop our next episode. See you next time. Bye, guys.